Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Students, now we are going to complete our last five questions related to your quadratic equation. Words problem of your exercise 4.10. So we start with question number 16. And it states that the area of a rectangle is 1680 square meter. If its diagonal is 58 meter long, find the length and breadth of the rectangle. So you have to find the length and breadth of rectangle. So first, given that a rectangle and area of this rectangle is 1680. You can see on brown color, it's a color language. Area of a rectangle is 1680. And second thing, if its diagonal is 58, you can see on your purple color, if its diagonal is 58 meter, you can see this on your diagram as well. This is your diagonal and given its length is equal to 58 meter. Now, in order to find the length, suppose that length of the rectangle is x meter, you can see on your diagram as well. And also, breadth of the rectangle is y. So, this is your breadth, which is equal to y meter. Now, using formula, you know that area of a rectangle is what? Length into width or you can say that area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth any problem so we have area is equal to 1680 we suppose length is equal to y and breadth is equal to y so you can say that this is your equation number one which is x y is equal to 1680 any problem now using another effect which is as in right angle triangle you can use Pythagoras theorem and in Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square and you can see on your diagram your hypotenuse is equal 58 your breadth is equal to y your length is equal to x so just replaces the values of hypotenuse perpendicular and breadth or more simplifying you have your equation number two now you have to solve equation one and equation two as we did in our last question i think so question number 15. so in order to solve these equation write it it's just a reminder we have two equation just multiply equation one by two and subtracting it from equation two mean your equation 2 is x square plus y square is equal to double 3, 6, 4. Just multiplying this equation 1 by 2, we have 2xy is equal to double 3, 6, 0. We have to subtract them and in order to subtract them, this plus sign converted to negative and also this plus sign converted to negative. Or more simplifying, you have x square minus 2xy plus y square is equal to 4. Or by using completing square or use simple formula a minus b square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square you can use metrum break you can uh, use uh, formula so we have x minus y whole square and left hand side which is equal to 4 by taking under root on both side we have x minus y is equal to 2 or you can say that your value of y is equal to x minus 2 again color language uh, purple color you can see y is equal to x minus 2 now put this value of y in equation 1 so by replacing value of y in equation 1 you can see this y replaces by x minus 2 as you can see on your equation number 3 so we have x into x minus 2 is equal to 1680. More simplifying, just multiply this x with this. x minus 2, we have x square minus 2x and this 1680 becomes negative 1680 on your left hand side. Or uh, now you can use quadratic formula or you can uh, factor them. Uh, in order to factorize, we have 
42 and 40, negative 42 and 40 and then taking a, a common x from first to and third and fourth 40. So, we have x minus 2 and x plus 2 fractures. Any problem? Now, you can uh, solve either first one is equal to 0 mean x minus 42 is equal to 0, mean x is equal to 42 and x is equal to minus 40. Now ignore this negative number because we have to find a length and breadth of rectangle. So ignore this negative number. Now put this value of x in equation 3. If you remember your equation 3, we have x is equal to x minus 2. So just replacing x in equation 3, we have y is equal to 40. So, you can say that the length of rectangle is 40 meter and breadth of rectangle is 82 minus x mean uh, 82 minus y. So, 82 minus x is equal to 42 meter. Got it? I request you please uh, write unit on each uh, of your answer mean x is equal to 40 meter mean 40 meter not x is equal to 40 just mention unit uh, as they give in your statement any problem now we move on to question number 17 which is an interesting one to do a piece of work it takes 10 days more than b together they finish the work in 12 days how long it be to finish it alone mean you have to find the number of days b take to finish the work now in your given statement he states that a takes 10 days more than b so first we suppose that b finishes a work and number of days we suppose x days b finish the work then a, a one day work of b just divide this 1 by x now a takes 10 days more it means let a finish the work is equal to x plus 10 days 10 days more than b in b we have x days so just adding 10 uh, into x we have x plus 10 and one day work for a is 1 over x plus 10 so very simple question next thing he states that together mean a and b together finish the work in 12 days so both a and b finish the work in 12 days and in one day they work 1 over 12 so you can see that one day work for a person b for a and both a and b so, by using the given condition, together they finish in 12 days, how long would B T take to finish it alone? So, just write given condition, this is your A, this is your B and both of them complete the work in 1 over 12 days. So, making it uh, equal or just L, uh, taking LCM on left hand side and cross multiplying or just multiplying each term by LCM. And LCM is 12x into x plus 10 on both sides. So, multiplying each term 12x into x plus 10 or you can uh, just uh, take LCM and cross multiply this. After multiplying, you have this equation or more simplifying, we have a quadratic equation which is x square minus 14x minus 120 is equal to 0. Any problem? Now you can solve this equation by using quadratic formula by using completing square or factorize this. Uh, the factor of 14 is 20 and 6 negative 20 and positive 6 taking x common for first 2 and third and fourth 6 common you have two values one is x is equal to 20 and the second one is x is equal to negative 6 so ignore this negative value so b alone finish the work in 12 days again mention unit 
in 12, 20 days, sorry, not 12 days. B alone finish the work in 20 days. Any problem? Okay. Now, question number 17 and 18 are similar. To complete a job, A and B take 4 days. Working together, A alone twice as long as B alone. To finish the same job, how long would each one alone take to do the job? In this question, A alone take twice as long as B. So, let B finish a job in days, for example, X days as we did in last question, then one day work for B is 1 over X. Same pattern as we did in last question. Now, A finish this job in twice as long. Mean A finish a job in days 2X and in one day's work for A is 1 over 2X. Same pattern, isn't it? Yes. Now, both complete the work in four days so both a and b finish a work in four days and in one day they complete in one over four so we have one day for b one day for a and one day work for both a and b now using the this one day condition we have one over x one over two x and which is equal to one over four Again, you can take LCM or just multiplying LCM on both sides. So, multiplying each term by 4x, after cancelling, you have 4 plus 2 is equal to x or you can say that x is equal to 6. It means B alone finish a job in 6 days. Then, A finish the job, 2x mean 2 times uh, of A, mean 2 times of 6. So, A finish this job in 12 days any problem okay now we move on to our next question number 19 which is an interesting one an open box is to be made from a square piece of 10 by cutting a piece to decimeter square from each corner and then folding its sides of the remaining piece if the capacity of the box is to be finished 128 decimeter cube find the length of side of piece it's a pretty simple question so very simple question mean an open box let length of piece of square 10 is x decimeter you have a square piece and length of this piece is x decimeter then what will be its width same x decimeter because it's a square 10. Any problem? Now, after cutting a 2 decimeter piece from each corner, now cut a 2 decimeter piece from this corner, from this corner, this corner, and this corner. Then the new length will be. So, total length is equal to x, just subtract 2 and 2. So, new length of after cutting box is x minus 4 decimeter. Then, what will be the width of this square box after cutting? Yes, x minus 4. Same, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and just subtract this from x. Then, a very inter interesting question. What will be its height? You have a box like this. This is your length. This is your width. Its height is 2 decimeter. So, height of after box after cutting is 2 decimeter. You can see on your diagram. Okay. Now, given that if the capacity of the box is 120 8 decimeter cube so using this fact we have we use formula volume of a box we know that length into width into height you have length of volume 128 your length x minus 4 x minus 4 width and height is 2 just solve this equation 
just multiply to on your left hand side you have x minus 4 is equal to 64 whole square just taking under root you have x minus 4 is equal to positive 1 you can uh, take x minus 4 is equal to 8 which is, which will give you x is equal to 12 and for negative give x is equal to negative 4 so neglect negative sign so length of the side of square piece because it's a square so its length is 12 decimeter any problem it's a simple question just convert the statement into equation now we move on to our question number 20 i am going to solve this question in two different statements First, the statement given on your book, we state that a man invests 100,000 in two companies. His total profit is 3080 if it's received 1980 from one company at the rate of 1% more from the other. You have to find amount of each investment. Okay, so we start with a man invests 100,000 in two companies. So we first we suppose that let A and B are the two companies. This is your company A. This is your company B. So he invests hundred thousand in two companies. Then investment for the company A is rupees X. Then what will be the investment for the company B? You just subtract this amount X into 100,000. So investment for the company B is 100,000 minus X. Actually, you have to find this value of X. Got it? So a man invests 100,000 in two companies. His total profit is 3080. If he received 1980 from one company, mean we suppose amount received for company A is 1980. Then amount received for the company B will be its total profit is 3080. So just subtract this 1980 from 3080. So you have your profit 1100 for the company B. Any problem? Okay. Now, if you receive 1980 from one company and the rate of 1% more from the other, we suppose that profit rate for the company is a Y plus 1%. Just focus on this step. Profit rate for the company is a Y plus 1%. Why we make this company profit y plus 1 because it produces 1980 so its profit rate must be greater so we suppose it y plus 1 1 and profit rate for the company b is y percent because amount he received for the company b is 1100 got it now using the formula profit is equal to amount into rate into period over 100 so we have profit is equal to 90 1980 amount is equal to x we have rate y plus 1 period is one year and over 100 just cross multiplying this you have your equation number one or just divide this y plus 1 on your right hand side we have 19800 over y plus 1 so by using same technique for the company B, by using same formula, we have profit amount into rate into period over 100. What will be your profit in company B? What was your profit? 1100. So 1100 is equal to 1000 minus 100,000 minus X, Y into 1. Or just cross multiplying, you have your equation number 3. Now you just solve equation 1, 2 and 3 in order to find the investment for each company. So, so you have 100,000 minus xy is equal to this by using equation 2. 
and you are equivalent to if you uh, uh, remember x is equal to 198000 y plus 1 so just this uh, replace x by 1980 over y plus 1 red color show the value of x just taking lcm on this uh, bracket we have y plus 1 and 200,000 minus 19800 into y. Just multiply this y plus 1 on your right hand side you have 110,000 into y plus 1. Multiply this 100,000 first by y plus 1 you have 100,000 y plus 100,000 minus 198,000. Or more simplifying, just subtract 100 uh, into 198, we have 98,000. Or more simplifying, just multiply this 110,000 uh, into y plus 1. Or more simplifying, you have your quadratic equation, which is like this. 100,000 y square minus 208,000 uh, y minus 110,000. Any problem? In order to factor this, or you can use quadratic formula, just take else uh, common. So taking 200, uh, 2000 common from the above equation and just divide this 2000 on your right hand side. We have 50y square minus 104y minus 50y. Now you can factor this or you can use quadratic formula. This time I am going to use quadratic formula. So just compare this equation with your quadratic equation which is ay square plus by plus c. So we have a is equal to 50, b is equal to minus 104 and c is equal to negative 55. Again you can see the color language. We have formula normally x is equal to this but uh, here in this equation of very uh, involving variable y so y is equal to minus b b square minus 4 a is equal to over 2a so just replaces the values of a b and c and you use calculator you have 21816 under root and what is under root of this it's 147.7 so First, you just add 105 and 147.7 and divide it by 100. We have y is equal to 2.5 and when you subtract this, we have y is equal to negative 0.44. So, ignore this negative value. We have y is equal to 2.5 but we have to find the value of x. So, put this y is equal to 2.5 in equation 1. If you remember your equation 1, we have x is equal to y plus 1 into 198,000. Or more simplifying, we have x is equal to 56,572. It means investment for the company A is 56,572. And what? will be the investment for the company B. We suppose it 100,000 minus X. So 100,000 minus 56,572 which will be equal to 43,420 rupees. Any problem? But according to your book, the answer is I think so 56,044,000. The students frequently ask about the answer. So I am going to discuss a very interesting fact about this question statement. Actually, it's a, a statement. A man invests 100,000. Okay. His total profit is 5060. But in your book, the given question is total profit given is 503080. So there is a correction in your book statement. If he state 3080, you can use the previous form, uh, method. But if he state his total profit is 5060, then you can solve this answer with this method, which is which I am going to demonstrate now so difference lies only here total profit for the com two companies so we start with same let a and b are two companies so this is your company a this is your company b investment for the company a is rupees x and investment for the company b is hundred thousand minus x 
profit rate for the company is y percent it's a for the company is y plus one uh, profit from using formula amount into rate into 200 your profit is 980 and your rate this time i suppose the rate of company is y percent why y percent because company a gives 1980 rupees and company b will give five zero six thousand minus eighteen mean three zero eight zero actually it's the profit for the company b and uh, it will be one percent more than from the company a so that's why in this question i suppose profit rate for the company is y percent profit rate for the company b is y plus one just note this point it's a very important point as compared to your book statement so just cross multiplying this again you have three equation just solve this actually two equation just solve these equations simultaneously so first multiply this hundred thousand minus x into y plus one we have hundred thousand y hundred thousand minus x y minus x is equal to three zero eight zero Using equation 1, you have x, uh, y is equal to 198,000, so replaces x by 198,000. Or more simplifying, you have your uh, last equation, 1000y minus x is equal to this. Or just replacing the value of x in equation 2, value of x is 198,000 over y. You can replace the value of y as well in this equation, but it's a simple way to solve this equation. So just remember in this equation, if you put the value of x, then you have a simple type of equation as compared to if you replace value of y. So just replacing the value of x, just multiplying y on each term or by taking LCM on uh, left hand side and then cross multiplying or just multiplying LCM on each term, we have 198,000 minus 100,000 plus 406,000 Y. Got it? Or more simplifying, we have this equation. Now, we want to take common, actually again, take common 2000 from left hand side, we have 50y square minus 203y, 99 is equal to 0. So compare this with quadratic with ay square, by plus c, you have a is equal to 50, b is equal to minus uh, 203 and c is equal to 99. Or more simplifying, you have uh, just uh, using quadratic formula, just replacing the values of a, b and c and use your calculator. So 61009 under root of this, I think so, 247. So first you add this number into 203 divided by 100 or subtract this. If you add this number, you have y is equal to 4.5. If you subtract, you have minus 0.44, which is not possible. So put this value of y in equation 1. So after putting this value of y in equation 1, you have x is equal to 44,000 which is investment for your company A. So investment for your company A is 44,000. That is the answer in your book. And then what will be the investment for the company B? It's 100,000 minus 44. We have 56,000 rupees. So, uh, focus on the statement of your question. If it states 3080, then you can use the previous method. And if it states 5060, you can, you have answer 44 and 56,000. So, very, very important question. So, that's it for now. Inshallah, we will meet in our next lecture according to your requirement. Okay, Allah Fez. Okay, Allah Fez.